Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my 2017 beauty favorites. Yeah! <laughs> so I know this video is coming up, coming up, coming in a little bit late. Okay, so technically sa video na ito, siguro alam niyo na ano yung mga ipagsasabi ko or pagsasabi, tama ba I will share with you all yung mga favorite kong products for the year 2017. Pagiging mahabang-mahabang video natin na ito. <laughs> I know it. Kasi yung gagawin ko is ishishare ko sa inyo yung mga paborito ko. And then I'll also do a try-on video. Para makita nyo how the products really work on my skin and kung bakit paboritong-paborito ko sila. This year, I've been using primers all the time. So nag-venture na ako sa primers. Last year, hindi naman talaga masyado. And I found my favorite primer of the year. And I think ultimate favorite ko siya if hindi ako makahanap ng mas maganda pa dito. It is my Dr. Brandt Pores No More Primer. Bongga siya. Ang ganda-ganda nito guys actually. When I was searching for it online, nakita ko lang siya sa Lazada and it's like 2,400 pesos. For. Tagal mo naman siya mauubos kasi you only really need the tiniest bit and it comes with a pump so very convenient talaga siya. Hindi siya yung silicone feeling na primer pero nakaka- blur out talaga siya ng pores guys as in and it actually mattifies my face and keeps me matte for such a long period of time. Naalala ko talaga like probably first or second time that I tried this primer. Um, ginamit ko siya dun sa wedding ng Kuya ni Fons kasi in-invite niya kami. And medyo mainit dun. Siyempre ba wedding mainit yun. And sila, yung ibang tao dun, super haggard na, medyo sweaty na talaga, oily. Pero ako, fresh fresh yan pa rin. And it's all because of this primer. And yung ginamit ko after this primer was a BB cream lang. And to think ha, BB cream lang. So, it's not really yung nakaka-control ng oil pero dahil dito na-control niya talaga yung oil ko and it kept me looking fresh all throughout the night. So I really really love that primer. It really works and I love it. This was a wrong idea to put everything right here kasi ang ingay kapag kumukuha ako ng products. But anyway, okay now let's move on to foundation. And itong foundation na to, I think na-mention ko siya dun sa favorites video ko last year. Pero this year lang siya naging available dito sa Pilipinas. So I think it's okay to mention it again. And my ultimate favorite primer for the year 2017 has been the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Foundation. I love this foundation so much. It is my ultimate favorite. Nakapag-try na ako ng maraming maraming foundation pero talagang ito pa rin yung binabalik-balikan ko. Meron akong, syempre, second, third place, mga ganun. Pero ito talaga yung top one. So I thought that I would just mention this one right here because I don't think you really need to see the top two and top three because it's the best makeup of 2017. <laughs> Yon. Baka I will do a separate video na lang na my top favorite foundations. Yon. Let's see. Alam niyo na siguro yung itsura nito. Ayan siya. Ayan. I'm in the shade 102. Medyo mahirap hanapin yung shade mo sa foundation na to para sa akin. Kasi it tends to change in color kapag nalagay mo sa skin mo. Now, I only like to apply this foundation using a sponge. Kasi I find that it gives the best look, the best finish with a sponge. As you can see, hindi pa ganun kaganda yung coverage niya when you put it first time. Pero it is a blendable foundation. So... Okay lang. Tapos, I find that when you work fast with it, hindi siya nakikake when you build it up. And that's another thing you really need to blend this out really quick. Kasi madali siya mag-set. I also find na this foundation works best, at least on me, without a primer and without powder. And so there we go. I already finished applying the foundation on my face. And as you can see, maganda na talaga yung coverage niya. Medyo malala lang talaga yung pimples ko on this side of my face. So pasensya na kayo. Pero I really like the coverage and it looks very, very smooth. It doesn't really accentuate my pores. Mas maganda pa siguro yung itsura niya kung pwede ako mag-primer with it. Siguro I just need to find the correct primer that would be okay with this foundation. Pero I haven't found it yet. Pero... Okay na rin naman ako sa look niya ngayon, as you can see. 
Alright, now, sa concealer naman, wala talaga akong favorite for this year. I mean, naubos ko talaga yung aking Maybelline na Master Age Rewind ba yun? Pero, hindi ko talaga siya naging favorite talaga na favorite na best concealer talaga for the year. Hindi ko masasabi na yun yung pinaka-favorite ko. And, nagamit ko rin itong Maybelline Fit Me, but again, it's not a favorite. So, for concealer, I'm gonna do it off camera kasi wala akong paborito this year. And, I'll be right back. Okay, so ayan, baby guys, nakapaglagay na ako ng concealer. I applied it on the under eyes and sa center ng face as well. So ngayon, I'm gonna show you my favorite powders of the year. So yung first is the loose version. And ito yung naging favorite ko this year. It's the Airspun Loose Face Powder. This one is in the shade Translucent Extra Coverage. And as for the pressed version, or yung hindi loose na version, hindi naman to pressed, pressed, but all pressed. <laughs> it's the Wet n Wild Photo Focus press powder. Ang ganda-ganda ng powder na ito, you guys. As in, I especially love it. Um, not specifically for the under eyes, pero maganda din siya for the under eyes kasi super nipis ng pulbos na ito, guys. As in, as you can see, medyo may dent na siya ng konti dyan. Kasi lagi ko talaga siyang ginagamit. Tapos kapag ginagamit ko siya, parang nagiging parang nagiging overboard ako sa kanya. Kasi, kasi ang sarap-sarap ng feeling na sa skin, guys. It's super smooth. Napaka-nipis. Very finely milled. And hindi siya magiging cakey sa mukha mo. Kahit na, magan, kahit na marami yung nilalagay ko, ang ganda-ganda niya tignan sa skin. para siyang may blurring effect sa skin. Tapos parang nabblur out niya yung pores mo. Ang ganda-ganda as in, I love this powder so much. Anyway, since hindi naman tayo magpa-powder ng face kasi nga yung foundation na ginamit natin, hindi ganun kaganda tignan kapag nag-powder tayo. I'm just gonna use this Airspun Loose Face Powder. Gustong gusto ko tong Airspun Loose Face Powder kasi maganda siya sa skin you guys. As in, I like it more than the Nichido Final Powder. Kasi parang mas fine siya. Tapos, mas gusto ko rin yung amoy nito. Some people think na Medyo malakas yung amoy niya. Malakas nga yung amoy niya, pero gusto ko naman na mabanguhan ako sa kanya. There we go, and this is what we call baking. I really love this powder kasi napaka-nipis niya and it really sets my under eye area perfectly even the entire face. Minsan ginagawa ko yung entire face, binibake ko para hindi siya madaling maging oily and super smooth ng finish niya as in. I love it. Okay, now let's move on to the eyebrows. Actually, I don't have my ultimate favorite pang kilay for this year dito kasi nawala ko siya. I don't know where I put it. Um, yeah, na-misplace ko lang siya. But, I'm going to use a different pang kilay for today. Gagamitin ko itong Colorit na brow pencil. We'll fill in my brows muna and then I'll get back to you guys kapag magbabrow mascara na ako. Okay? Right, baby girl. So, ayan, natapos ko na yung aking kilay. And, they are a little bit dark right now. Pag-usensya nyo na. Kasi nga, wala yung aking paborito, yung natural brow na BLK. But, isha-share ko sa inyo yung mga paborito kong brow mascaras. First one is, ito yung brow mascara na favorite ko kapag wala akong nilalagay sa kilay ko. Ito lang. It is the Benefit Gimme Brow. Ayan, yung maliit lang yung meron ako. Ano maklaro niya siya? Super ganda ng packaging niya, guys. As in, favorite ko siya kapag yun lang yung nilalagay ko sa kilay ko. Kasi meron na siya mga fibers, which makes it seem like you have thicker brows. Pero kung nag-fill in ako ng brows, like today, I don't find the need to use that brow gel kasi medyo mahal siya. Um, usually, I only go for these two brow gels right here. Ito yung eyebrow gel na clear. This one I got from Daiso for only 88 pesos. Super ganda nito. Meron din sila nung mga may kulay, pero hindi ka pa natatry yun. Ito pala yung natatry ko. And this is such a good brow gel, guys. As in, it really keeps my brows in place. Like, para siyang hair spray for your brows. If I brush it upwards, it will stay upwards. As in, this brow gel is such a good one. As in, I like it so much. So, kapag yung ginamit ko na pang kila, yung pang fill in is medyo light brown na, na medyo nagmamatcha buho ko, yun na lang yung ginagamit ko kasi it's really, 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 really nice. I keep repurchasing it. Pero, if I want a brow gel that would really keep my brows in place and yung merong tint or merong kulay, I use this one. It's from San San. It's their eyebrow mascara with vitamins A, C, and E. In. And for my hair color, I love the light brown version. Actually, I'm running low on this one, so kailangan ko siyang ganyan din para may makuha akong product. And this brow gel, you guys, it really, really works. As in, kahit na murang-mura lang tong brow gel na to, it's only like 135 pesos yata. Pero, it works. 
keeps my brows in place the entire day. Pero it doesn't feel crunchy. Tignan niyo yung difference. Ito yung wala pang light brown na brow mascara. Tapos ito yung meron. Diba? Nakakalighten talaga siya ng brows. And I love it. It's the best one I've tried sa mga local brow mascaras. Tapos, the color lasts all day, which I love. Kasi yung iba, nag-fade yung kulay after just a few hours. Pero this one lasts the entire day. Right, there we go. Brows are done. Now, um, for the eyeshadows, actually for the year 2017, hindi naman ako masyado nag-eyeshadow talaga as you have seen in my vlogs. Super minsan lang ako nag-eyeshadow. Pero I will pick a few standouts sa aking collection ng mga eyeshadow palettes. So, Yung high end is definitely my Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. Alam ko medyo matagal na tong release. Medyo maalika box siya, best. <laughs> Pasensya na. As you can see, it has a lot of really, really beautiful shades. Merong mga great for every day. As you can see, marami siya mga neutrals right here. Then you have a few pops of color right there. Ang ganda-ganda ng eyeshadow palette na to. They're all very pigmented, very blendable, very easy to work with. And super ganda pa ng packaging best. Ang ganda-ganda niya pang, ano, pang display. Lagi niyo to nakikita sa um, background ko dyan sa aking eyeshadow palette organizer. Dahil ang ganda-ganda naman talaga niya. It's really worth um, worth the front row seat sa aking, <laughs> sa aking um, organizer. Everbelena Eyeshadow 5 Shades Sunset Cafe. This is such a nice palette, you guys. As in, this one is only 130 pesos yata. And you get 5 shades already. Tignan niyo yung mga shades na yan. Ang gaganda. They are all super pigmented. Yan. Inadjust ko yung camera. So, baka may makita ko yung kalat siya. Pero, anyway. I will let you see how freaking nice this eyeshadow palette is. Tignan niyo naman yan, guys. 130 pesos for 5 shades. And super ganda na ng pigmentation. I mean, sign me up for that. Yun nga lang, it is a little powdery. Pero... Okay lang yan. Kaya, I like using my fingers para less fallouts. And, ta-da! Tingnan yun naman how that registers on my eyelid. Oh, diba? Look at that. Isn't that super nice? Diba? Bongga. Akalain mo bang 135 pesos lang yan. And then, kung gagamitan mo to ng brush, maganda din siya if you wet your brush para mas intense pa yung kulay. So, there we go. Nalagay na natin yung ating eyelid shade. So, para sa eyelids, I love this palette. Very affordable, but the pigmentation is there. And bonggang bongga siya as in. Alright, baby girl. So, natapos ko na yung aking eye makeup. And since wala naman akong ultimate favorite mascara and eyeliner... So, yeah. Tinapos ko na lang. Hindi ko na pinakita sa inyo. Now, let's move on to the face. Meron akong konting mga favorites. So, let's start sa pang contour or bronzer. Okay, so meron akong dalawang pang contour dito. And yung isa dito is a palette. So, let's start dun sa single na lang. Um, this is actually an eyeshadow. And, na-mention ko before yung Shawil Perfect Powder in the shade number 3. Favorite ko pa rin yun, pero since na-mention ko na yun like last year and probably last last year, hindi ko siya i-mention today. <laughs> um, or na-mention ko na. Hindi ko na ipapakita today. Ito parang mas ashy talaga yung undertone niya. So, perfect na perfect pang contour. This is the FS or Features and Shades noon Fanny Serrano to. Cinnamon Mousse na single eyeshadow. And this is how it looks like. Ayan, maliit lang naman siya kasi nga eyeshadow siya. It's really nice to use as an eyeshadow, but I mostly use it to contour my face and my nose as well. It has the perfect undertone to contour your nose as in, walang warmth sa powder na ito at all. So, I really, really love it and it's affordable. Mga 150 lang yata yan. Pero na kung iba pang na-discover na pang contour this year. And ito yung Nechido na contour palette. I really, really like this. I keep on using this again and again. It is a little powdery, pero okay na okay lang. Bought this for 350 pesos and I think that it is really worth it kasi tatlo na yung meron dito. And this highlighting powder, I usually apply this like underneath the eyes. Um, kapag nakifeel ko na medyo 
hindi ganun ka bright yung under eyes ko and I want to brighten it a little bit more. Yung hindi ko lang masyadong ginagamit dito is itong pang bronzer kasi it's really really orangey, nakakaloka. And then it also has a contour powder right there. Pero should we contour today? Parang, parang gusto ko lang mag bronze tour today. But anyway, I think this palette is really, really nice for 350 pesos. Meron ka ng tatlong shades. I think they're really pigmented and very easy to blend and very, very, very good ang color payoff, especially yung contour. So, you only need a little bit. So, matagal mauubos yan. And I think it is worth it. Trust me. Okay, next, let's move on naman sa mga bronzers. And meron akong high-end and merong drugstore, pero wala akong local brand. Kasi, kasi wala akong nakita ang local na bronzer na talagang naging favorite ko. So, this one is from Benefit. It's the Hula Bronzer. And matagal na tong sikat, guys, dito sa YouTube. Maraming, maraming YouTubers ang nag-rave nito. And, ayan siya. Itong maliit lang yung meron ako. Pero, ang tagal niya maubos, bes. Lagi ko tong ginagamit. And I really put my brush in there, like... Kasi gustong gusto ko yung itsura niya. It has the perfect tone. Hindi siya super warm and hindi din siya super cool. So, it won't look muddy. It won't look like an oompa loompa with this bronzer. Kasi perfect lang yung undertone niya. Parang bagay na bagay siya sa lahat ng skin tones. And the feeling of it on the skin is very silky. It's very buttery and it blends perfectly, seamlessly on the skin. So, yeah. Ang ganda-ganda niyan. It's really a very good investment. Kahit na medyo mahal siya, okay na okay naman kasi ang tagal niyang maubos and walang effort sa pag-blend sa skin mo as in. Highly recommended. Lastly, ito yung isa sa mga favorite kong bronzers, the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I love bronzers kaya parang medyo marami akong na-mention na pang bronzer or contour kasi I love that step in my makeup routine. Gustong gusto ko to kasi yung amoy niya best ang bango niya as in minsan medyo overpowering siya like especially kapag meron akong sipon or parang sisuponin ako. Parang minsan nga na sosobra na ako sa bronzer because of how much I love it. It blends seamlessly on the skin and it feels very smooth. It looks very flattering sa skin tone ko, yung shade na to, yung light bronzer. Oh, diba? Ang ganda! Ito na, yung my bronzer, walang bronzer. Diba? Medyo flat dito na side. Dito, medyo may dimension na ang ating face and parang buhay na tayo ulit. Very silky ng feeling niya sa yung skin. Kasi nga, itong bronzer na to daw is infused with... Muru Muru Butter ba yun? And that's the reason why super silky niya i-blend sa skin. Okay, so sa blush, meron akong tatlong brands dito na naging favorite ko for the year. And siguro let's start dun sa local. Ito yung, isa sa, ito yung isa sa kanila. These are the EB Advanced Cheek Color. Ito siya is in Rose. And ito, Fig. So, itong Fig, super ganda niya kung gagawa ka ng mga drunk blush na look. Kasi parang it mimics talaga the look of drunkness. <laughs> yung parang, especially sa mga Morena skin tone or sa Filipina skin tone, super ganda nitong shade na ito kung gagawin mo yung drunk blush na look. Kasi parang, parang drunk blush talaga ba? Parang, hindi yung peachy pink na look. Parang yung lasing ka lang talaga. Tapos, itong rose, favorite ko rin siya, like, kapag mga, you know, mga normal na ano, looks, like for today. Pakita ko sa inyo, ha? Super ganda ng formula ng mga blushes na ito from EB, guys. Super smooth as in, blendable, very easy to work with. Super pigmented, and ang ganda ng color payoff, like. Look at that. Diba? Napakaganda ng formula niya. Parang, parang nang, nanlalaban na siya sa mga high-end blushes. And to think, 100 plus pesos lang itong mga blushes na to. Pero, the quality is there. And meron pa akong ibang favorite na blushes from the local market. And they are from Caroline. Ayan, this is the Caroline Oil Control Blush. Meron akong tatlong shades. Ito yung pinakaluma na meron ako. Like, kita ko to kay Sate Yoko noon. Like, super noon-noon pa. Parang may braces pa siya noon. And ito yung lagi niyang ginagamit na blush. Yung Charming Pink. And super ganda niya, guys. Like, if you have a fair skin tone, super ganda nung Charming Pink na shade. As in, parang, parang super innocent looking lang. As in. And then, I have these other shades here. Fresh Tomato and Peach Glow. Wet and Wild Color Icon Blushes. Ayan. Meron akong dalawang shade. Pero ito yung pinaka-favorite ko talaga. Kasi, yung shade niya, parang nakaka-lively talaga tignan sa face. Yun nga lang, meron siyang glitters. So, you can see that, pero 
yung kapag naglalagay lang ako ng konting foundation or BB cream, tapos kilay and lip tint, ito usually yung ginagamit ko sa aking cheeks. O, nakaka-fresh talaga siya ng dull na face. <laughs> Okay guys, now let's move on to the highlighters. And marami akong highlighters na naging favorite this year. So, pasensyaan nyo na marami akong ipapakita sa inyo. One of them is not actually a highlighter, it's a blush. It's from e.l.f. And this is the Baked Blush in the shade Pinktastic. And hindi ito pwede maging blush guys, kasi tignan nyo naman yan. Oh, diba? Nabili ko to sa Shopee for less than 300 pesos. Ang ganda-ganda niya, you guys. As in, look at that reflect. Yes. It actually really looks nice on the skin. Hindi niya masyado na-accentuate yung texture na aking skin. Which I love. That is what I look for in a highlighter. Yung glowy siya. And sometimes I like a really, I mean most of the time, I like a really beaming highlighter. But it should not accentuate my texture. And meron pa akong isa dito. This one is the Becca... Um, shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Moonstone. And yung maliit lang siya, kasi nabibili to sa Sephora. Right now, I think it's on sale for like 500 plus pesos. Kasi naka-sale nga siya, pero hindi ko to nabili ng sale, which is so sad. Ang liit lang niya, guys, as in. So, if you want to try yung mga highlighters from Becca, pero namamahalan kayo, itry niyo tong maliliit. Oh, 500 plus pesos lang sa Sephora PH. Totoo talaga yung mga sinasabi nila na super ganda ng mga highlighters from Becca. Look at that! Diba? Ang ganda ko to! Oh my goodness! Parang mas reflective pa nga si Pinktastic from e.l.f. Yun nga lang, mas pino yung glitters ni Becca. Ayan. Meron ako ditong dalawang local highlighters. First one is from This and That. Pero binili ko tong palette na to kasi it doesn't come with a palette. Parang single eyeshadow lang siya. Tapos, madali siyang masira, guys. Madali siyang ma-break because I like to bring my makeup in the car. Like, doon ako nagme-makeup. Ayan, ayan. Nilagay ko siya dito. This is how it looks like kapag bago pa siya. Tapos, pag, kapag naging luma na siya, ayan na siya. <laughs> Nahulog kasi to. Tapos, I tried to fix it with alcohol. Kaya, ganyan yung itsura niya. Pagpasensya niyo na. This one, mabibili mo siya sa For You 2. Yung pangalan nito is Facial Expressions. So, hanapin niyo lang doon yung For You 2 Facial Expressions in the shade 105. It looks like this. Ang ganda ng undertone niya, guys. Para, para siyang may pagkat champagne na golden na shade, which I actually really, really like. Super ganda din ito sa skin. It looks very creamy and walang specks of glitter sa kanya, sa iyong skin. I really, really like it. Super ganda nito and it's only 150 pesos. Okay, finally, meron pa ako dito from the local market as well, but it's a palette. It's the BLK Cosmetics Contour Blush and Highlight Palette in the shade Sunkissed. Yung favorite ko lang talaga dito is yung highlight kasi ang ganda-ganda niya. Tignan nyo guys sa skin as in. And it's very long-lasting sa akin. Nagustuhan ko lang talaga siya because it's very long-lasting and I receive a lot of compliments when I use this highlight. Sinasabi nila, wow, ganda ng highlight, beaming, ganun. Tapos sabi ko, talaga, hindi ko ina-expect na ganun. Ayan, this is how it looks like right here. Nakikita nyo parang medyo pare-pareho lang yung undertones ng mga gusto ko na <laughs> highlighters. And finally, uh, meron akong medyo high-end na highlighter palette dito. Pero hindi siya ganun kasikat guys. Pero you can purchase this from sammarcel.com. Ayan, ganito yung itsura niya. It's called the Luxurious Highlight Palette. And the packaging looks like this. Look at that. Gold and black. Tapos ang dami mo ng highlighter na mapagpipilian. <laughs> Ah, itong tatlong to lang yung nagagamit ko. Kasi yung iba dito, nagagamit ko lang as eyeshadows because they're a little too dark for me or medyo wild yung color niya. So for today, let's use this shade right here. Ready na ba kayo? Back. Diba? Ang ganda ng highlight. Highlight goals. Highlight goals best. Highlight bahanap mo. Look no further. Tapos, it's so reflective. But it doesn't accentuate my pores. Ayan. Perfect. Look at that. Glow. Yes, best. Glow for the guys. And finally, we are down to the last, or no, second to the last step. I hope you are still with me, baby girls. Pasensya na. Alright, baby girls. So, yung next product that we will tackle, alam nyo na siguro kung ano siya. Si ano pa ba yung kulang sa face natin? Lipsticks. And I have four to share with you guys today. And guess what? Puro sila local products. Okay. And puro sila bullet lipsticks because 
As much as I like um, liquid lipsticks, hindi ko masasabi na favorite ko talaga silang ilagay for like an everyday use. Mas mas preferred ko talaga yung mga bullet lipsticks. Meron lang akong isang liquid lipstick na i-share sa inyo guys kasi ito out of all the liquid lipsticks that I own and I, and I own a lot of liquid lipsticks from different brands pero ito talaga yung pinaka favorito ko it's the Everbelena liquid lipstick in the shorter tube and this one is in the shade Aura siguro if you watch my vlogs like noong November siguro ito yung lagi kong sinusuot and every time I wear this super daming nagtatanong sa comments kung ano yung nasa lips ko and it looks like this. Ayan. Ang bongga, ba? Super ganda ng shade na aura, you guys. And malapit ko na nga siya maubos kasi I use it all the time. Grabe, napuno yung memory card ko. I had to switch it to a different memory card. So, ayan. Bongga. So, aura. Ayan. Ang ganda-ganda niya, ba? Super na in love ako sa shade na to. Kasi parang nakaka-fresh talaga siya. Pero hindi siya yung overpowering na lipstick. And then, yung formula niya ng pagka-liquid lipstick niya is hindi drying sa lips at all. Yung color payoff niya, hindi siya perfect. Pero okay na okay lang sa akin kasi I love it for every day. As in, yun lang naman talaga yung mga gusto ko na lipsticks. Yung perfect for every day because I live in nude lipsticks. Minsan lang naman ako nag-loud na lipstick color talaga. Vice Cosmetics Lipstick. Yung bullet lipstick niya. Ano bang bakala nito? Good Vibes Matte Lipstick in the shade Aura. Again, medyo nude pink na lipstick shade which is like my ultimate favorite lipstick shade to wear all the time. Ayan, this is how the shade Aura looks like. And again, gustong-gusto ko tong shade na to. Kasi, alam niyo naman, ito yung lagi kong sinusuot na shade. Yung mga nude pink na lipsticks. Yung mga pa-innocent, di ba, pa-virgin. Yung mga ganun. Yun yung mga favorite kong shades. And I really love the formula of this matte liquid lipstick. Kasi, kahit na matte siya, it's not drying on the lips. And super gaan niya sa lips, guys. Napaka-nipis niya. Um, kahit na hindi siya ganun ka-pigmented, like one swipe goodness, hindi siya ganun. Pero kahit na ganun, okay lang sa akin kasi napakamura niya, 195 pesos. And the performance is really, really nice. Hindi siya ganun kadali matanggal sa lips ko. And kahit nagtatanggal man siya after I eat, super dali lang niyang i-reapply. And hindi siya nagka-crumble or hindi siya nagiging pangit after wearing it for like the whole day. So, okay na okay lang sa akin. I love this one so much. It really gives life to my face. Alright, next up, isa na naman to sa mga pa-virgin na mga lipstick ko. This is the Maybelline The Powder Mattes Lipstick in the shade Touch of Nude. Noon, paborito ko talaga yung mga creamy mattes from Maybelline. Pero itong powder matte, parang mas gusto ko yung feeling niya sa lips ko. Kasi it just feels like a cloud. Super lambot niya kapag nilalagay mo siya sa lips mo. And the pigmentation is there. Hindi din siya one swipe goodness for me. Kailangan ko pang bumalik multiple times to get the opacity that I want. Pero so it's very long lasting and it feels very comfortable on the lips. Ito naman yung shade na Touch of Nude. Again, it's a very very nice everyday color. Parang medyo nude brow na merong coral ng konti sa kanya. I love it. Again, it gives life to my face na parang pa virgin lang. Parang, ooh, blooming siya. Yes, nakaka blooming siya tignan. Which is the reason why I like it. I love the color. I love the feeling on my lips. Nagustuhan ka talaga lahat about sa kanya. And I love the price. It's only 299 pesos. Pero laging nagsisale yung Maybelline. And ginagawa na lang nilang 199 pesos. Bonggang bonga. So kapag mag-sale, mag-hoard ka na best. Kasi 199 lang so finally, last lipstick that I have to share with you guys today. And ito din yung susuotin ko today. This is the BLK. Ano ba mga nito? All Day Intense Matte Lipstick. I got mine in the shade Chic. I really, 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 really like this lipstick. Um, hindi ko pa na-try yung liquid lipstick nila. Kasi nga, hindi naman ako that fond of liquid lipsticks talaga. Like, if you watch my vlogs, laging bullet lipstick yung nilalagay ko sa lips ko. And I love the packaging. Look at that. At first, parang natinigdan ko siya sa picture. Ano ba yan? Parang namang laruan ng bata. Pero okay lang din naman pala siya. Maganda yung packaging niya. And this is how the shade Chic looks like. O ba medyo para din, para lang din siyang nude na lipstick. Pero mas palaban na nude lipstick. Hindi yung super innocent de tea. And this lipstick is very pigmented. And Kahit na matte lipstick siya, ayan siya guys. Oh my goodness! Ang ganda-ganda ng kulay. Gusto ko rin to kasi it's very long-lasting sa aking lips as in. Ito na yata yung pinaka-long-lasting na bullet lipstick na na-try ko. 
in my entire lifetime or as far as I can remember, ito na yung pinaka long lasting. Kasi kahit na kumain na ako, andun pa rin siya sa lips ko. Pero syempre, nag-fade na yung kulay niya. Pero andun pa rin siya. And I only need to like ganyan, spread it on my lips para maging acceptable pa rin yung itsura niya. Glides very smoothly on the lips as in. And at first, hindi siya magiging matte looking. Parang medyo creamy matte looking siya. May konting bounce back ng light. Pero okay lang yun sa akin. At least, hindi siya ganun ka-drying and hindi niya sinasuck yung life sa lips mo, ba? Kaya, bonggang bongga. So, let's go ahead and use this para kahit fresh-fresh lang tayo parang may impact yung aking lips, ba? Bongga. Oh, ang lambot niya sa lips, best. See, ang ganda ng shade na to. Parang nakakamisti siya sa tinan. Ta-da! So we are now down to the last step in our makeup routine, which is setting spray. And dalawa yung standout setting sprays for me for this year. The first one is yung favorite ko early on in the year. It is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. Super ganda nito guys. It really makes my makeup last the entire day and it helps control the oil sa aking face. Yun nga lang medyo mabaho siya pero okay lang yun para sa akin. <laughs> Tanggap ko naman na medyo mabaho siya. Parang amoy laway siya best. You know, kailangan natin mag-suffer for beauty char. Meron ba akong isa pang favorite na makeup setting spray for the year? Parang ito naging paboritong-paborito ko talaga siya. Kasi I think I bought this. Nakalimutan ko na kung November or December. Pero tignan nyo naman. Kunting-kunti na lang natitira. Minsan kasi ginagamit ko rin to as my primer. And super ganda ng effect niya sa aking skin. Gusto ko rin yung mist niya. Sana nga, ganito talaga yung mist ng lahat ng um, setting sprays niya. By the way, this is the Iset Mo Best. Ang pangmalakas ang setting spray by Sugar Skull Cebu. Ilalagay ko yung link niya sa description box below. This is 100 ml and it's only 150 pesos mga best. As in, tignan niyo yung mist niya. Ang ganda. Oh, tanyo. I hope you can see. Sayang. <laughs> 150 lang siya. Kaya, hindi ako nasasayangan kapag dinaramihan ko yung sinispray ko sa face ko. And as you know, marami akong makeup na nilagay sa face. Maraming powder products. So, I really need a setting spray para maganda tignan yung face ko. Para natural tignan. Para hindi super powdery tignan ng face ko. Ngayon, tignan nyo. Parang flat na flat yung face ko. Pero, when I apply this, nagkakaroon ng glow yung face ko. Wait. Oh, di ba? Caring, caring ko mag-apply ng super daming spray sa aking face kasi 150 lang siya best. 150. <laughs> Tapos parang may bago din siyang setting spray na matte version naman para dun sa mga gusto nung matte yung face nila. Wait lang. Just gonna let it dry for a little bit. Ayan, so nag-dry na siya mga baby girls. Gusto ko rin siya kasi madali lang siyang mag-dry. And hindi siya kagaya dun sa ibang setting sprays na super tagal mag-dry. Kasi nga, ang lalaki ng droplets na nalalagay sa yung face. Ito, super fine nung mist niya. And as you can see, I don't know kung makaklaro niyo siya sa camera. Pero it gives this really nice glow on my face. Hindi kagaya kanina na parang patay na patay. Tignan yung ating face. Parang walang buhay. And it makes my highlight pop even more. Kung nakita niyo yun. I have one more thing to share with you guys today and ito yung pinaka pinaka favorite ko na lip tint ever. Para dun sa mga days na gandang pulbo at lip tint lang, ito yung really favorite ko talaga this year. I have one which comes second, pero ito talaga yung pinaka number one. This is the Laurent Cosmetics Lip and Cheek Stain in the shade Fluttershy. This is how it looks like. And ilalagay ko sa description box below kung saan ko to nakuha. Or considering the quality ng lip and cheek stain na ito, murang-mura na siya. I think 168 lang yata to. Mas madalas ko tong ginagamit sa lips. Kasi minsan na talaga ako maglagay ng cheek stain. Mas gusto ko yung powder blush. Hindi siya kagaya dun sa ibang lip stain or lip tint na mapait, nakakaloka. Meron ngang long lasting pero mapait naman. Ito, matamis siya best. Kaya bonggang bongga, okay siyang i-apply. Hindi kayo hindi masisira yung mukha mo pag i-apply mo siya sa lips mo. And it is fairly long lasting. Kahit kumain na ako, andun pa rin siya sa lips ko. Like ever since na try ko na to, wala na akong ibang tinatry na lip tint. And ang dami ko pa namang lip tint pero hindi ko na sila ginagamit. So, yun. I love this so much and I'm really happy that I found my favorite lip tint this year. For sure, gagamitin ko siya 
all the time until next year and next next year. <laughs> so yun, yun na lahat ng favorites ko for the month of 2017. Sana na enjoy nyo itong video na ito. I hope you are still here. I hope you are still awake. I hope you like the fact na tinry on ko sila para makita nyo talaga kung how it works on my skin, kung bakit ko sila favorite. And tell me your favorites in the comment section below as well. I'd love to know para lahat tayo maganda and we have nice products to work with. And that's it, baby girls. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Sana nakatulong. And I hope to see you in the next video tomorrow. Bye! Mwah! Bwow, chika, bwow, bwow. Now, meron din silang isa pang shade. Ang mga... Hindi siya nags... Hindi siya... All over. Kasi, it tends to... I know this is... Pasensya na pala ko. Kasi you really only need... Need... Hi, baby girls!